Ang topic natin today is about Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. So, by definition, what do we mean by Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure? In an ideal gas at constant temperature, the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of an individual component of the mixture. Well, ang ibig nito sabihin guys is for example, meron tayong uh, tatlong substances, yung A, B, and C. And then we forced it inside dito sa ating container. no? So, itong tatlong component natin na nilagay natin lahat yan dito sa ating container. And then kapag nasa loob na sila ng ating container, mag exert yung ating mixture ng pressure. And that will be our total pressure. And then referring to Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure, the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of the individual components. So ang ibig sabihin niyan guys, itong total pressure natin is equal to the pressures na exerted ng bawat component natin. Okay guys, we're in. Itong PT natin is our total pressure. At yung individual pressures natin, ito, ito yung mga tinatawag nating partial pressures. Okay? So, ano ba yung partial pressure? Partial pressure is the pressure which that constituent would exert if it were isolated in the same volume and at the same temperature as that of the mixture. Well, if you will recall our ideal gas equation, guys, we have PB is equal to NRT. And then, if the volume and the temperature are held constant, we would see, guys, that it will be like this. And then, we can rewrite it this way. Where this is constant. Ngayon, kung constant yan, guys, makikita natin na yung pressure natin is just related dito sa ating number of moles sa ating system. No? Now, using Dalton's Law, there are different ways na pwede natin gamitin in solving problems regarding ideal gas. Lalo na in finding the partial pressure ng ating mga substance and the total pressure or the mole fraction ng ating substance. Ang unang paraan na pwede natin gamitin in solving problems using Dalton's Law is yung paggamit natin ng ideal gas equation natin, which is PV is equal to NRT. Okay? Halimbawa, ang gusto mong makuha is yung total pressure natin. So, yung P natin dito will be the total pressure. Kailangan, yung number of moles natin is also expressed in the total number of moles na nasa loob ng ating system. Okay, so dapat nagmamatch yan yung P and N natin dapat nagmamatch. And kung ang gusto naman nating makuha is yung partial pressure ng A, therefore dapat ang pressure natin is A, so dapat yung number of moles natin is also in A. So the same way sa other components natin, if yung partial pressure natin is B, dapat yung N natin is B. So ganun paraan natin makukuha yung partial pressure or total pressure or yung number of moles na nasa system natin. Pwede natin gamitin yung equation natin ng uh, ideal gas. And then guys, another way na pwede natin gamitin in solving problems uh, using the Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure is using mole fraction. So, paano natin gagamitin yung guys? So, we have to take note that the partial pressure of the gas in the mixture is equal to the mole fraction of the gas in the mixture times the total pressure. So, what do we mean by mole fraction? Yung mole fraction, for example, yung mole fraction ng uh, gas A natin is equal to the number of moles ng A over the total number of moles na nasa ating system. Okay, then using this, we also have here that the mole fraction of A is equal to the partial pressure of A over PT. So, ito yung mga equations na pwede natin gamitin, guys, in solving problems, no? And we know that the sum of all the mole fractions is equal to 1 because, because yung mole fraction is actually 
a decimal representation ng percentage, no? So, ang 100% natin is equal to 1. Okay, so gamitin natin yung mga natutunan natin about Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure by solving a problem. So, we have here our first problem. A storage tank contains 2 moles of argon, 3 moles of oxygen, and 5 moles of nitrogen at a total pressure of 1,000 torr. Calculate the partial pressures of each gas. So, ang required natin dito is yung partial pressure ng mga component natin, which is partial pressure ng argon, partial pressure ng oxygen, and the partial pressure ng nitrogen. Well, we know that our mole fraction ng component natin, for example, ng argon, is equal to the number of moles of argon in our system over the total number of moles. Ganun din naman, pagkukunin natin yung mole fraction ng oxygen, this is equal to the number of moles ng oxygen over the total number of moles. And yung mole fraction ng nitrogen is equal to the number of moles ng nitrogen over the total number of moles. So, kunin muna natin yung total number of moles, no? So, we have here the number of moles ng argon plus number of moles ng oxygen plus number of moles ng nitrogen. So, total number of moles is equal to 2 moles plus number of moles ng O2 which is 3 moles plus the number of moles ng nitrogen which is 5 moles. So, this is equal to 10 moles. Okay, so gamitin natin yan sa pagkuha ng uh, mole fraction natin. No? So, para sa argon, we have here the number of moles of argon which is 2 over the total number of moles which is 10. So, this is equal to 1 over 5 or 0 0.2. Now, para naman dito sa ating oxygen, uh, we have here number of moles ng oxygen is 3 over the total number of moles is 10. So, this is equal to 0 0.3. And then, dito sa ating nitrogen, uh, number of moles ng nitrogen is equal to 5 divided by the total number of moles which is 10. So, we have 0 0.5. Okay, so kapag in natin lahat ng ating mole fraction, this should be equal to 1. Okay, so this is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5. Well, this is equal to 1. Okay, so pinahanap sa atin yung partial pressure ng each gas natin. So alam natin, as per our given, that the total pressure is equal to 1,000 torr. So gagamitin natin yan uh, dito sa ating equation, which is partial pressure of argon is equal to the mole fraction of argon times yung ating total pressure. So, partial pressure ng argon is equal to, ang ating partial pressure ng argon is 0 0.2 times yung total pressure natin which is 1,000 torr. Therefore, ang partial pressure ng argon is equal to 200 torr. Then, para naman sa partial pressure ng O2, we have the mole fraction ng O2 times the total pressure. So, partial pressure ng O2 is equal to 0 0.3 times yung total pressure natin which is 1,000 torr. Therefore, ang partial pressure ng O2 is equal to 300 torr. So, next, sasagutan natin yung partial pressure ng nitrogen which is equal to the mole fraction ng nitrogen times the total pressure. So, Partial pressure ng nitrogen is equal to 0 0.5 times 1,000 torr. So, this is equal to 500 torr. So, para i-check natin kung tama ba yan as per our Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure, yung total pressure natin is equal to the pressure ng argon plus pressure ng oxygen plus pressure ng N2. So, we said that our total pressure is 1,000 torr. This is equal to uh, 200 torr, yung partial pressure ng argon, plus partial pressure ng oxygen, which is 300 torr, plus 
partial pressure ng nitrogen which is 500 torr. So, this is equal to 1,000 torr. So, tama siya guys. No? Okay, so punta tayo sa ating second problem. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa ating discussion, we would like to ask for your support to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga ipopost naming mga video. We also like to invite you to register sa aming website, www.engineers.org. Our website is an online community for Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. 56 grams of N2 and 96 grams of O2 are mixed in a 2-liter container at 300 Kelvin. Calculate the partial pressure of each gas and the total pressure. So, pinahanap sa atin yung partial pressure ng O2, partial pressure ng N2, and yung total pressure. Okay, so, in this case, guys, gagamitin natin yung ideal gas equation natin, which is PB is equal to NRT. So, kunin muna natin yung number of moles ng N2. Uh, we have here 56 grams. So, multiply natin siya sa kanyang molecular weight. We have 1 mole over 28 grams. This will be cancelled out. So, we'll have here 2 moles. And then, yung number of moles ng O2 is equal to 96 grams times yung molecular weight which is 1 mole over 32 grams. This will be cancelled out and this is equal to 3 moles. Okay, so gagamitin na natin ngayon tong ating ideal gas equation. No? Unahin natin kunin yung partial pressure ng nitrogen natin. Uh, this is equal to yung number of moles ng nitrogen. So, katulad ng sabi ko kanina guys, dapat mag-match yung ating P and B. And then, RT over P. Okay, so P and 2 is equal to number of moles ng N2 natin which is 2 times yung R, 0 0.08205 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Okay, times yung temperature natin which is uh, here 300 Kelvin. We have 300 Kelvin over yung ating volume which is 2 liters. Okay, so this will be cancelled out. So our partial pressure ng N2 is equal to 24.618 atmosphere. And then yung partial pressure ng ating oxygen. This is equal to the number of moles ng oxygen, RT over V. So, this is equal to yung number of moles ng ating oxygen, which is 3, times 0 0.08205, times 300, over 2. And this is equal to uh, 36.9 atmosphere. So, nasagutan na natin tong dalawang requirement natin dito. And now, kailangan naman natin makuha is yung total pressure. So, sabi natin, the total pressure as per Dalton's law is equal to the partial pressure of N2 plus the partial pressure of O2. So, ang total pressure natin is equal to yung partial pressure ng N2, 24.618 atmosphere plus partial pressure ng O2 which is 36.9 atmosphere. So, this is equal to 61.5 atmosphere. So, nakuha na natin yung mga sagot. Well, para ipakita rin guys, another solution para makita natin yung total pressure is yung sinabi natin kanina yung total pressure is equal to the number of moles total RT over V. No? Dapat magmatch lang yung pressure and number of moles natin. So, ano ba yung total number of moles natin? No? So, ang total number of moles natin is yung uh, number of moles ng N2 which is 2 moles plus number of moles ng N2 which is 3 moles. So, this is equal to 5 moles. Okay? So, ang PP natin is equal to 5 times 0 0.08 
205 times 300 over 2. And this is still equal to 61.5 atmosphere. So, pareho lang yung naging sagot natin guys dito sa ginamit nating ideal gas law and then itong Dalton's law of partial pressure. Then, let's go to the next problem. Okay, ito yung ating third problem na sasagutan. The storage tank contains nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. The partial pressure of nitrogen and oxygen are 600 torr and 150 torr respectively. The total pressure is 828 torr. What is the partial pressure and mole fraction of carbon dioxide? Okay, so according to Dalton's law, partial pressure, Pt, is equal to the partial pressure of nitrogen plus the partial pressure of oxygen plus the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So, given ang ating total pressure, which is equal to 828 torr. And then, yung partial pressure ng nitrogen natin is equal to 600 torr. And yung partial pressure ng ating oxygen is equal to 150 torr. Okay, so gamitin natin yung Dalton's law of partial pressure. Yung total pressure natin is equal to 828 torr. And this is equal to the partial pressure of N2 which is 600 torr. Plus, yung partial pressure ng ating O2 which is 150 torr plus yung partial pressure ng CO2. Okay, so therefore, yung partial pressure ng CO2 is equal to 828 torr minus 750 torr. Therefore, ang partial pressure ng CO2 is equal to 78 torr. So, nasagutan na natin yung unang requirement, yung partial pressure ng CO2. And then, kunin naman natin yung next requirement, which is the mole fraction of CO2. Okay, so we learned before that the partial pressure of CO2 is equal to the mole fraction of CO2 times the total pressure. So, therefore, the mole fraction of CO2 is equal to the partial pressure of CO2 over the total pressure. Okay, so substitute natin yung values na nakuha natin, no? Okay, so mole fraction ng CO2 is equal to yung partial pressure ng ating CO2 which is 78 torr over the total pressure which is 828 torr. This will be cancelled out. Therefore, ang mole fraction ng ating CO2 is equal to 0 0.09454. And this will be our uh, final answer. Well, that's it for now, guys, and thank you for watching. We are inviting you to register sa www.engineers.org. It is a community of Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. Thank you very much, and have a nice day!